If you haven't noticed, I've coined the term duo to describe the effective model employed on Jandek's first two albums. They're just similar enough for us to notice, but contribute different things to maintain a balance. After the new approach we heard on Later On, there was no telling what could follow. Before I started this review, I thought of Jandek as one of the most unpredictable singers in modern times. Now that I realize Chair Beside a Window completes his second album pairing in a row, I'm slowly watching my original assumption wither away. Among fans, this album is pretty iconic. The title, Chair Beside a Window, perfectly encapsulates those mundane photos you see on the covers. Of course, the title fits better with the first album cover, but what do you expect? It's Jandek. What we have instead is a blurred, ghostly close-up of the man himself. It could almost pass for a Van Gogh painting, and I've loved it since I first saw it. Another similarity with Ready for the House is the experimentation. Later on, may have introduced the harmonica, but Chair Beside a Window features even more on top of that. We haven't heard electric guitar since the first European Jewel, so it's fitting for it to return on the sequel here. But that's not all. A whole rock band is formed with the addition of drums and bass. I feel like some people think John Plays Drums was the first Jandek track with drumming, but that was a whole year after this. Everybody knows the real significance of this album, concrete evidence that Jandek wasn't a complete recluse. It's possible that he recorded some of those other instruments himself, but once we heard Nancy's voice halfway through the record, it was the first indication that Jandek as an entity was not just the man on the covers. We're not completely sure how the partnership began. Nancy was simply an Ohio girl that Jandek came across and asked to sing what he wrote. If that wasn't enough, he even convinced her sister Pat to sing on the next track. Whatever happened between these people, it must have been somewhat positive, since we're fairly certain that both sisters can be heard on later albums. Meanwhile, the regular songs mostly resemble later on. The tuning sounds the same, and Jandek has continued to simplify the lyrics. However, the young whippersnappers buying the CD versions may notice some extra reverb here. On its own, the superb opening, Down in a Mirror, makes the album worth the price. Arguably the most popular Jandek song, it's perfect music to play on your porch as trick-or-treaters grab at the candy you left there. As heard in the first lyric, there's clearly a supernatural theme to the music. We can't deny There are spirits in this house You shut the door The wind closes to It sounds like Jandek just walked into a house where multiple people died, but he's only addressing one of them. Although the atmosphere is melancholy, it seems like the narrator is happy to lay eyes on this person again. The moment is so great that he wishes he could lock everyone else out of the room. But since the dead aren't communicating verbally, he imagines his dying day when he can fully reunite with his loved one. For now, the spirit just fades away as Jandek says, come back in an increasingly hushed tone. Delivered with equal parts grace and uneasiness, Down in a Mirror is essential listening for old and new fans. As the other highlight of the album, the importance of Nancy Sings should not be understated. There are two and a half more versions later in Jandek's catalog, all with different names. They don't feature Nancy, but the lyrics will always be associated with her. On Chair Beside a Window, her sensual voice sounds like a hipster version of Jessica Rabbit, as Jandek gently plucks the strings so as not to steal the spotlight. The lyrics describe a wet day, reminding us that the rain is much more than a nuisance. If you embrace its role as a cleanser in the circle of life, all the drops will feel more like kisses than bullets. The absence of Jandek's voice makes it feel like some kind of rain goddess is communicating with us. If I ever experience a drought, I will definitely look to the sky and call for Nancy. Everything else on Chair Beside a Window isn't as brilliant, but it's still worth discussing. Oddly enough, the conclusion to European Jewel is just titled European Jewel. No part two or anything. 
but at least it provided the closure we needed on this story, even if the lyrics sound like they're from a different perspective. It follows down in a mirror, so the cacophony from the new instruments is really a sudden change of pace. The guitar has a new tuning, and although there's a lot of noodling, you can still distinguish the original descending riff. The other electric track is No Break, although the bass is absent and the drumming plays a smaller role. Pat's mumbling may be a little off-putting, but these guitar riffs did pave the way for albums like Telegraph Melts. Otherwise, it's mostly acoustic material with minimal lyrics. It's nice to hear Jandek fret the guitar on Unconditional Authority, while I'm just starting to appreciate Love Love. Even if Jandek baffles regular people, I'm sure most can identify with this song's message of self-improvement. Make the most of your talents Don't bury them in the ground Finally, there are two tracks that offer some interesting trivia, and another fan was kind enough to send me the LP versions so that I could verify that. First, you'll notice that half the lyrics on Blue Blister were omitted on the CD. There's no longer any mention of cigarettes, so lighting on fire sounds more vague. Next, there's some background noise on the first end, which happens to be track one of Later On, in reverse. This means that the albums were at least partially recorded with the same materials, presumably to save some money. I love Easter eggs like this because they take us back to a time when flawless recordings were more of a luxury for people like Jandek. Now that we've made it through his second album pairing, let's reflect on the pros and cons for each one. Later on had three essential songs, while this one only has two. However, the latter songs are definitely more well known, so it evens out. If variety is what you're into, Chair Beside a Window pulls this off better than any album of that era, while Jandek just played it safe on later on, since the music was only just starting to evolve. Unfortunately, my main gripe with this album is the structure. There were simple songs before, but with the way they're positioned here, they feel more like filler than the segues they used to be. Sometimes I can be in the mood for that, but I think later on is the more well-rounded album. Even so, Chair Beside a Window is a favorite of many, and might get you pumped up for the later releases, if you're listening to them in order. For best results, play this one while looking outside at the rain. <laughs> 